you can double your income or if that's not important to you, double the impact of your work if you're into some kind of social change or nonprofit work. Number two, you can double your time off, have more free time. How many people would like to make twice as much money and still have twice as much free time? Anyone? Okay, we're in the right room. And the third thing is it will also help you have more balance and more fun in your life. And finally, you can have more spiritual fulfillment and emotional peace. So those are the promises I make if you apply this work. And you can apply it to anything in your life. Your health, your sports, your relationships, your financial, your career, your company, whatever it might be. And most of my students do this in two years or less. Many of them do it in six months or less. Doubling your income. I'll give you some examples. I want you to know that this works so you'll actually do the work once you realize that it can give you everything you want. So how do I know it's possible? I have thousands and thousands and thousands of students around the world in over 50 countries that I've worked with, five and a hundred countries with our, our online programs. And this is one guy named John Caleb. I was speaking in Manila in the Philippines. And John came the night before to a book signing I was doing. At the end, I said, John, that's the best book signing or best interview. He interviewed me for the paper. He said, that's the best interview I've ever had. How long have you been doing this? He said, you're my first interview. And I said, how is that possible? He said, well, I guess maybe I'm a natural. I don't know. I said, well, why did you start interviewing people? He said, well, I just got this job with the newspaper. And up until now, I was running a restaurant, but it went bankrupt. And I lost all my money. He said, I'm sleeping on my friend's couches. I don't have a home. I had to sell my car. My girlfriend left me. I said, how much money do you have, John? He said, right now my total net worth is $2.34. And I said, let me buy you a book. Because I was in this bookstore. I didn't have any books to give. I had to buy a book from the bookstore to give to him my book, The Success Principles. And I said, read this book and be my guest tomorrow at my workshop. I was doing a one-day workshop, six, seven hours, something like that. I didn't see him, just way in the back. I come back about three and a half, four years later, and in walks this guy who's wearing this blue blazer. He's got this gold medallion on it. He's got 12 people walking behind him, all with that same medallion on their polo shirts. And I said, are you the guy that interviewed me? He said, yeah. I said, you look different. He said, I am. I said, what happened? He said, well, I'm now a multimillionaire. I have a condo at the beach and a house downtown. I have a radio show, a TV show, a book, and I've become the best-selling author and also the top motivational speaker in the Philippines. And I said, John, what do you attribute that to? He said, well, when I interviewed you, you were pretty cool. The next day, you'd sold all these books. You were a multimillionaire. You had a happy life. You were healthy. You looked 10 years younger than you are. I'm 74. He said, you just, you're doing really, really well. I wanted to have the life you had. So I decided I'm going to do everything that man teaches me for one year. And we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll have wasted a year. If it does work, I'll be where he is, which he's pretty much there. Not quite as rich yet, because we've got a lot more years to go. But the point being, he did everything in that book. I said, John, I don't know anyone has done everything in that book. He said, well, I did. And I said, well, it obviously paid off. Very quickly, everyone in that organization doubled or tripled their income. The office became a billion dollar office, selling a billion dollars worth of real estate in the next two years, and 86% of the agents doubled or tripled their income. Major change. This guy took a workshop with me. He doubled his income in just two years. He doubled it again the next two years. Runs a big lumber yard. This is a yoga teacher who is making $50,000 a year. She started living these principles, and the next year, her monthly income, the first month, was 50000 that was the year before. She made over $600,000 that year by applying these, a yoga teacher. You don't expect most yoga teachers to go from 50,000 to half a million dollars a year income. Pooja Gupta, who lives here in town, in Chennai, uh, took one of my workshops and she was a preschool teacher before. Now she has her own training company. She actually um, started doing workshops after she learned how to do them, she actually came and trained with me. She has a book called Unlocking the Golden Cage, where she's talking about how women can become more empowered to get out of the cage of the life they find themselves in. If you're a woman, you have a daughter, you have a wife, you have a sister, I encourage you to. So 
All of these things work. Success is like knowing the combination to a lock. If you know the combination to a lock, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, or brown, or yellow. It doesn't matter if you live in Chennai, or you live in Paris, France, or you live in Austin, Texas. It doesn't matter if you went to university or you didn't. It doesn't matter if you have a high IQ or not. It doesn't matter. If you know the combination to the lock, it has to open. And a lot of you know some of the numbers and you're doing okay, but you're not where you want to be. If you had everything you wanted, you wouldn't be here today. You came because you want something more, more happiness, more joy, more money, more wealth, more impact, whatever it might be. And so the reality is that, think of it this way, success, if you know the combination, that's gonna open. Many of you are missing some of the numbers. I don't care how smart you are, if you only have three numbers of a five number combination, that lock doesn't open. I don't care how hard you work, how much you imagine it, it's not gonna happen. But if you know the right numbers and you have them in the right order, because if you have them in the wrong order, that's not gonna open either. So many of you know some of the numbers, some of the things you're supposed to do. You learn some more today from all the speakers here. And what I wanna share with you is a system that when you do it, put the right action in the right order, in the right way, at the right time, then anything is possible. And what we found were four distinctions, four differences, and I wanna share this with you. Number one, I'm gonna delve deeper into these in just a minute, is they took 100% responsibility for their life. No blaming, no complaining, no excuse making, 100% responsibility, and they were action oriented. Rather than sitting around talking and planning forever, they got into action, they did the things that needed to get done. So 100% responsibility, action oriented. The second thing is they had unusual clarity of their values, their mission, their purpose, their goals, etc. You can go into most companies and you can ask the employees, what is the mission statement of your company? I don't know. Many of you don't have a personal mission statement. You don't have a mission statement for your company if you're an entrepreneur or a business person. So you need to be very, very clear. And we're gonna do something today. We're gonna set something called a breakthrough goal. I'm gonna have you set a goal so that when you leave here, it will literally quantum leap your success. Not just like a 10 or 20% increase, but like double your income or become a best-selling author or have your own radio show, that kind of thing. So we're gonna look at that. So clarity. Number three, they develop effective habits of success. What I like to call disciplines of success. Just last month, I wrote the foreword for a book called The Billionaire Secret. A friend of mine interviewed over 20 billionaires in eight countries around the world. And what he found was that all these billionaires were very disciplined. They had strong habits. Most of them got up at least by five o'clock in the morning. Almost every one of them meditated. Almost every one of them did intensive um, physical activity, exercise. If they had to get up at three o'clock to catch their private plane to go somewhere, they would get up at 2.30 and exercise for half an hour. Make sure they got their meditation in, etc. So disciplines of success, we're gonna talk about what some of those are so you can start applying them tomorrow. And then the fourth thing that is they built effective accountability systems. What that means is they had someone besides themselves to be held accountable to. How many of you are solo entrepreneurs, meaning you, like you're the, you're the one person doing the job, or you're the entrepreneur head of your company? How many of you own your own company? Okay, so for you, you don't have anyone to report to. So you tend to do the easy things instead of the complicated and hard things. And that won't get you where you want to go. If you're, if you're an employee and your boss says, go do that, call the president and see if you can get a meeting for me, you're gonna do it because your boss said to do it. But if you own your own company or you're an entrepreneur or a consultant or an author or a coach or whatever, then we tend to put those things off because they're uncomfortable. People often say to me, you have 64 principles in your book. If you only had one, what would it be? What's the most important one? I say, well, if you could only keep one organ in your body, what would you keep? Your heart, your lungs? You need more than one. However, having an accountability partner, meditation, clear goals, and action, those are key things. And so this accountability is really critical. I've had accountability partners and also mastermind groups of five or six of us who get together on the phone every two weeks as well 
and we coach each other and we hold each other accountable and so forth. But you need that. It's really, really important. So E plus R equals O. It's a formula. What it stands for is events plus your response to that event equals an outcome. Outcomes are how healthy you are, how much you weigh, um, how much money you have, how many friends you have, how many employees like you, you know, all those kind of things, those are outcomes. So basically, an event happens. I want you to think of this as a mathematical formula. Two plus two equals four. And so if your income is four and you're happy with that, then don't change anything. But sometimes a recession comes along or your company loses market share, or the invention you made is replaced by a better invention and nobody's buying your product anymore, or your service. People are doing it online, like Amazon, instead of coming to your re retail store. Now the world's doing one, you keep doing two, you're only getting three. So sometimes the world changes and you have to change just to stay even. But the deal is if you want seven or eight or nine or 10, you can't keep doing two. And that's the problem for people. We are engaged in what are called habits that don't work. What most people do when they don't get the outcome they want, the money, the success, the happiness, whatever, instead of changing their response, meaning changing the number in that formula, what they do is they blame the event. Blame the government, we blame our parents, we blame the economy, we blame other countries for why we don't have what we want. And the truth is, it's always up to us. If you want to be successful, you have to eventually come to the point where you realize if it's meant to be, it's up to me. I'm the one that has to take responsibility. So the power is in your response. And the word responsibility means the ability to change my response. And if I have that, then I am responsible.